Good morning, my friends. I'm here to tell you about the sex of clownfish. Hark! Clownfish live in schools led by a single alpha female, and it's the biggest fish in the school. All the smaller fish are males. The largest male is the alpha male, and it's the only one that's sexually mature. It stays large by bullying the other males into giving it their food. If any fish in this hierarchy dies, one of the fish below it grows to fill the missing spot. So if the alpha female dies, the alpha male undergoes a sex change, rapidly grows larger, and becomes female. This is called sequential hermaphroditism. Hermaphroditism? 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 This is called sequential hermaphroditism. After the alpha male becomes the new alpha female, the largest of the younger males grows larger and goes through speed puberty so that it can become sexually mature and become the new alpha male and mate with the new alpha female that used to be the alpha male that bullied it and stole all its food. So Coral can't really be dead because if she were dead, then Marlin would transform into a woman. So what really happened to Coral? Maybe that can be the next Pixar sequel they make to distract us from the fact that they keep pushing back The Incredibles to release date. Clownfish aren't the only fish that exhibit hermaphroditism. There's a whole bunch of sex-changing fish, and I want the entire world to know about them. So share this video with a friend of yours who isn't a hermaphroditic fish. Thanks for watching. Next week, I'm talking about death by prosthetic nose. Oh no! Goodbye, I love you.